Roman engineers used their special underwater concrete to build harbours. Roman concrete differed from modern concrete in that it didn't allow water to penetrate. Instead, it hardened and became more robust over time. Wooden crates were prefabricated and partially filled with concrete before being floated to the desired location and anchored. Once in place, the remaining concrete was poured. This process was repeated multiple times to gradually build up the harbour. The artificial harbour of Caesarea in Judea is a perfect example. It was the largest concrete harbour ever built in the open sea an engineering marvel. In total, more than a million cubic feet of concrete were embedded in the sea, combined with massive stone blocks. Commissioned by Herod the Great, the Roman client king of Judea, Caesarea Harbour spanned over 800,000 square feet, making it one of the largest man-made structures in the world at the time of its construction. The harbour stretched out into the sea for almost half a mile, with two breakwaters enclosing a protected anchorage that could accommodate 300 ships. Remarkably, the Romans achieved this without the advantage of a natural bay or promontory to build upon. Their revolutionary concrete allowed them to build artificial harbours anywhere, and it remains intact after more than 2,000 years. The jetties would likely still be in use if the harbour hadn't been built on a seismic fault that caused them to sink below sea level.